Now we can film. Good morning, planty people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I really need to save some plants. I have some that are just looking a little bit outrageous, and two of which are the same type of plant, and it's my favorite plant, but it's just got spider mites, like, constantly. And it's gonna be my Hoya Bella, and I have two other plants that I'm gonna try and save today, too. This is gonna be a long one. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to be chopping up my plants that I have here and trying to hope for the best, honestly. Ugh. Let me show you what they look like. So first of all, I have this chunk, which, you know, looks okay, but it's very deceiving because this is all, like, rotted whenever i squeeze it it's like really really squishy i think mm, i don't know it's it's pretty far up there like i think this part might be salvageable emphasis on the might <laughs> but yeah i'm pretty sure i might have to throw this guy away unfortunately and then i have two hoya bellas right here and then this Hoya Lachinosa snowcaps, which has really seen better days. So essentially all I'm going to be doing is just taking a crack ton of cuttings off of this Hoya Lachinosa because it is covered in mealies and it's uh, pretty underwatered. I'm going to just try and salvage as much of the plant as I possibly can just by taking little cuttings that are just like, look at all those mealies, it's disgusting. plants that I have outside on my patio like suffer the absolute most and it's just because I don't want to go outside and water them which is absolutely outrageous I don't know why I don't I, let me know in the comments down below if you treat a certain area of plants better than another and now we have breakfast <laughs> yeah let me know down below if you guys treat a specific area uh, better than others. I know I uh, take much better care of my plants that are in my IKEA cabinet than probably most of my other plants and that's just because one it's I'm pretty much down here in the living room a lot which is where my cabinet resides and two I don't know most of my more expensive plants live in there i mean not all of them do but most of them do and so of course i want to put a little bit extra effort into those plants because you don't you know I, i'm tired of uh just throwing my money away also i don't know i've been I've been kind of like down in the dumps a lot lately about my channel in general and just to be completely transparent i posted about this on my community page um but just to be completely transparent, my channel's not doing very, very well. And I'm sure it's probably, you know, a lot of people are out and about and don't watch YouTube like they used to. I mean, I still watch a ton of YouTube, but that's just me. I watched a ton of YouTube like before the Panda Express and I still watch it to this day just because it's like relaxing to me and makes, I, I just really enjoy YouTube. I enjoy watching people do things. <laughs> Whether it's helping me out with a tutorial or there's just like specific people I feel kind of like connected with and I just like to watch them. Um, yeah, I, d I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to switch things up. I really love to play video games and I have a second channel for that type of stuff, but um, there's a video game that I would think that you guys would enjoy watching me play, um, but let me know in the comments down below, like, if I switched to a different genre, 
would you still watch or are you only here for the planty type of stuff? Let me know in the comments down below because I would really, really appreciate any and all constructive feedback that you guys have to give. I, mean, I still love houseplants. I still love the plants that I have. I just haven't been um, seeking out new ones a whole, whole lot like I originally was. I don't know. I just don't want, I don't want my uh, hard work and my channel to just vanish because um, people are over the hype of plants, you know? I don't know. <laughs> That's probably uh, way, way too deep, but it's just how I've been feeling lately. And I've been talking to my members about it. I've been talking my boyfriend's ear off about it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just ready to make a change because I've been putting a lot of time and effort into my last like several videos and you know money as well but that's that's beside the point and I don't know I just I just want everybody to enjoy what I'm putting out and I want to enjoy what I'm putting out as well because I'm sure you guys could probably tell if I was putting something out and it was like fake and I was only putting it out because I needed to put a YouTube video out or whatever. But yeah, at the end of the day, I just want to put out content that you guys would want to watch and enjoy watch watching and just content that I want to make as well. <clears throat> and if there is anything in particular that you came to my channel for, like um, probably one of my most viewed videos is going to be um, my LECA tips and tricks videos. Like, let me know in the comments down below if you came to my um, channel specifically for LECA type of videos. Yeah, because I can do some more, do some more of those, talk some more about that. Um, what else? Yeah, just let me know if any, there's anything that you came to my channel and you want to see. I would really, really appreciate it. All right, I think that that's all that we're gonna get off of this guy. I actually got a ton a ton of cuttings but they're gonna need to be like washed and soaked they're like disgustingly covered in mealybugs sorry if that got like a little too deep i'm just i don't know got a lot of feelings and emotions going on right now it's so nasty so i don't know if you guys can this looks a little better this could be promising i'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, this is a little squishy. So let me take a little bit more off. This is what I'm left with with that stump. I think we can still salvage it because there's a little node right here. If you guys can see that. And this is the um, last growing point that it had. The leaf never came out. Uh, I don't know what happened with this guy. He just was doing really, really good one day and then he wasn't. Like he had like three or four leaves at once and they were giant. Because this is a cross between a mame and a, I think it's a pasta. I can't really remember, but it's a hybrid between the, the a mame and something else. But everything else doesn't feel squishy. I'm going to put this in my prop box and hope for the best, so. Maybe, maybe he'll come, come back from this. <laughs> okay, now time for a last ditch effort to <sighs> yet again, save my Hoya Bellas. This one looks actually pretty good. The leaves look, uh, look like nice and plump on it. I think I might leave it alone actually and see if there's any like little trimmings that I need to do. I'm gonna inspect it, make for sure there's no more spider mites on it. This one actually looks really really good so i think i'm gonna leave this one alone other than yeah yeah i think it looks good wow i'm glad that i decided to look at this one a little bit further just before i started chopping and propping okay i'm gonna leave this one alone this one however has some good and some bad so i'm gonna take off the ones that i think are the bad and leave the good. I'm gonna take off some of the really, really leggy parts too because 
is just not, <laughs> this is not aesthetically pleasing to anybody. <laughs> There's Amelia on that one. That was kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that. My poor Bellas, I just want them to be so lush and full and happy. And it's just like one thing after another. It's like once they start doing really, really good and flourishing and they were like putting out so many peduncles and they were blooming constantly. And then just out of the blue, they got just riddled with spider mites. So upset about that. Just like out of nowhere, they just spider mite central. I don't see any spider mites on it right now. So that is a plus. Also on the plus side of all this, maybe I'll have a ton of cuttings that'll do good. And then I can just add some more back into the pots of the Bellas and make them nice and even more full and lush. So I just really would love a big, gigantic <laughs> pot of Hoya Bella. I think I have one in my Etsy cart right now. I just love this plant so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much I like this plant. See, this strand is doing really, really bad. So I'm gonna cut it all the way to the base. See, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just like really, really bad. The ends are starting to yellow. So I'm gonna, yeah, I cut it off. I can't tell if they're dehydrated or something else is wrong. Maybe there's root rot. That could be a possibility. But I'm going to cut it right there and then I'm gonna cut the already yellowing part off to maybe salvage what is left of the plant of that cutting. Same thing with this cutting. Got yellowing leaf right here and these aren't looking so hot either. So I'm just gonna take off the top. So this whole vine is very questionable. Like my hands are covered in sticky sap now, but like you have right here this yellowing leaf and another like discolored leaf right there. And then at the base of the cutting, you have these like really, really super dehydrated looking leaves that just won't hydrate anymore for some reason. So I'm just gonna cut it at the base and pull off those yellowing leaves because they're gonna fall off anyway. Oh, this makes me so sad. These plants were so big and beautiful and healthy looking. And now they just look like crap all over again. Okay, so, oop, no, I gotta cut that off, damn it. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. It's kind of sad looking. Especially whenever I think about what it did look like whenever it was in its prime. I'm so sad that she's not doing better because I just love this plant so much. This is probably, no, this is my favorite, more common plant. It just hurts my heart to see it suffering in any way, shape, or form. But I'm going to go ahead and give all of my cuttings some really good rinsing and prop them up. And even though that this plant this Hoya that uh, I put to the side and said it was looking pretty good. I just started looking at it and I realized that there's a ton of like legginess to it. So I'm going to just trim all that off. And hopefully by giving these plants some really good ant trims, hopefully it'll revive something within them and they'll just start pushing out a lot of new growth because that's like their survival technique, you know? push out new growth so we can stay alive, essentially. I just cut off a new growth point. <laughs> Oop. Okay, now it looks better too. Okay, so now that I've got my plants pretty much taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and rinse all the cuttings off and try and get all the mealies off of those Hoya lachinosa snow caps cuttings. Uh, I'm going to rinse my Hoya Bellas again and spray them down with Captain Jacks one more time just to make for sure that I don't get any more spider mites because I just don't want to deal with that anymore. Yeah, earlier whenever I was talking about any kind of content suggestions or what you guys want to see from my channel or if you guys would be upset if I did other things on this channel, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear all of your thoughts. I mean, you guys are the reason why I make videos. I mean, I make videos for myself because I enjoy making them, but also you guys, you guys push me. You guys push me to do my best and try and film really good content. 
and I just feel like I've been really trying to step up my game a lot. I've been very consistent and posting two videos a week again and I'm very proud of myself for how far I've come in the uh, in the whole like journey that I've been posting YouTube videos because I started off posting makeup videos but you know everything changes you have to evolve with your surroundings or else you won't have your channel anymore you'll become obsolete and I don't want to become obsolete so let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching and I big huge extra special thank you to all my members all 11 of you i really appreciate all of you guys because you guys push me even further to do my best and to put out my, the best content that i possibly can i really appreciate all your extra love and support but i will see you guys next time bye guys